akile ijebu iba neni o de de omo ire to owo la awon ma fi laji yan awon ma fi owo ilase ya de jimjire mi yo ayo adorun odun lo ke pe ati ogota le meren odun no ri apete awon ba eni aleluya o ba sikiru ka yo de ade tan na omo gbagbagba te wole omo we dudu ogu wa pe oruwa o a land of splendor, charismatic and energetic people, with a knack for industry and business acumen who have blazed the trail and transcended the bounds in every field of human endeavor. Ijebu land is blessed to have a monarch who is an embodiment of the uniqueness, panache and astuteness the people are known for. His Royal Majesty Obasiki Rukayo de Adetona from Anikilaya ruling house mounted the throne in 1960 as the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land, having been adequately prepared for exalted position. I would say Kabisi is an enigmatic, visionary, transparent, God sent and people's monarch. He is the longest reigning monarch to the best of my knowledge in the world after the Queen of England. Never in the history of the Wu nation has there been any king who had ruled for 64 years. And again, he ascended the throne at the tender age of 25, and which is quite significant. Can we see? Is Ijebu's deity, what you call Orisha Ijebu, and there's nobody like him in, in Ijebu land. At 90, we can only pray for God's continued guidance, God's uh, love, protection, his longevity, his amazing, his strength of character, his spectacular, his knowledge, and his uh, mastery of the geopolitical situation of the country is unassailable. We wish him well. He has been on the show for the past 64 years. And he's a very lovely father for everybody, all the Jebu sons and daughters. His reign has brought so many things to Jebu land, in good terms of good things. Jebu has changed. Jebu has moved more forward than what people are expecting. So we really respect him. It is indeed a thing of joy and delightful moment for the sons and daughters of Irete led by their Oba Onirete of Irete to celebrate the 64th coronation anniversary and 90th birthday of the highly revered monarch, symbol and repository of the industry acumen, acuteness and flamboyance of the sons and daughters of Ijebu land, His Royal Majesty Oba Sikiru Adetono, the Awujale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land. We thank Almighty Allah for the Baba life, our Ujali. Uh, always in the uh, place we have to be thanking him. Because if you look at the schools here, it was being called Taishula and College of Education before. Now the name has been changed to Obasikiru Kayo the Aditona College of Education and Technology. The town is one of major Jebu towns, traditionally. So by giving the school names to Awujale, it be cutting very much because it's the owner of this Irete. Irete belongs to Awujale. So nobody can take it from Awujale. It's Awujale town. So we thank God for Baba life. And we pray God to let Baba live longer so that the knowledge, the impact, the integrity Baba has, we continue to, we, we continue to learn from him and, he, and abide in our own way of life. We congratulate him, even the Irete community, Congratulate Kabir Sidi Abdali of the Bullard for his uh, celebration of 90 days, birthday and first tree, and 64 years on the throne of his, uh, of his forefathers. We, uh, we wish him many happy return of the day. We thank God for the life of the paramount ruler of uh, Ijebu land, the Awujale of Ijebu land. It, it only takes the grace of God for someone to be in that position since when he mount the throne of his forefathers. And we thank God for how far God has been helping him, sustaining the land, and the authority being given to 
other community within the Ijebu land. Our God, we pray for the traditional rulers in this Ijebu land, starting from the Awujale. Father, we pray they back up the need to succeed in that position that you have put them. Grant unto them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Baba Ojale lo tun next ni all over the world. So je ipe ti won pe ti won pe lori apere be. Ti won lo didi 64 years ni ori oye. A de wa ki baba na pe kolon ko je kon seju be lo. Nitori pe won wo baba Ojale ni ti won fi n bu owo fun wa ni ile ijebu. A wa gbadura fun won. Bi pe igbo odun odun kan wa se opolopo laye. Bo se wun ko pe laye to Olorun je ofoju suko omo Olorun je ofoju suko omo omo Olorun je ofoju suku iyawo Ka bi ezi ala ilua awujale omo ewe dudu ororo eh ka bi ezi gba odun odun kan ni won ti fo mo de joye won e won idagba o won ma dagba kan ma dogbo won ni ruko omo won ke ni retire ka bi ezi a pe oroye a don yon don yon 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 Awo jale, ijebu land. Baba to je, baba da da funwa nile teni. Tori ipi, oba to wa nilu le te leni, omu wwa gege di omoni. Ide le yi, adone adun ton se, dori o ye, be mo, agba, agba, ti mo da ye li o, Si ogota ati meni agba dura funwa. To lor ba funwa le mi gigun ata la fi ara. I want to congratulate our king, the Aujale of Ijebu land. We could see in history of um, Yoruba land, is one of the ruling, uh, the king that has reigned for a very long time. This presents a unique opportunity for the people to appreciate the tremendous progress and development witnessed under the reign of the Awu Jale. Pray for the Royal Majesty and the continuous reign while also celebrating the Unirete of Irete for being a good replica of the second longest ruling monarch in the world. Jadiara, Oma Wal to Subios, Moko Doa, O Jawu Jale, O to Jada Burewe, Oma Low Joy, Major, you forget I shake party cake, get a gab, you only retain to Louis Ritty, Oma Bajadiara, O Joy, a coyo, Winija, O Mura Shara Tilewa, O Wal to Subios, O Wal Subbega, O Subbega, O Wal Subbega, it's you do. A land of riches and abundance set on the hills with umbilical cord and destinies attached to the throne of Awu Jale and paramount ruler of Ijebu land, founded by a woman named Oyenuyi, the daughter of Jadiara, who reigned as Dagburewe and Awu Jale. Jadiara is the great grandchild of Owa Ututubiosu the 15th Awujale of Ijabu who migrated from Ijabu Ode to Idowa. Irete Ijabu, the home of Anowo Neyo, as an agrarian community slung between Ijabu Ode and Idowa, was founded in 15th century and today occupied 
by the direct descendants of Anowo Neyo. Iretejebu is a town of Anowo Neyo, where the great grandchildren of Oba Jadiara, who ran as a Dagburewe and Naujale, who was a great great grandchild of Owa Tutubiosu, the Aujale of Ujebu, the 15th Aujale of Ujebu, who migrated from Ijebu to Idrowa, known then as Idowa, now Idowa, generally called. It is from Idowa, this irritated town was founded by a woman who is a daughter to Jadiara, named Oyinuyi. We settled down here and we have been here since 16th century. Owa Otutubi Oson left Tijabudi as Awujale and founded Idowa, who then changed to Dagurewe, having bequeathed his throne to his younger brother, allowing him to take over as Awujale. Oyinuyi, who founded Iretejabu, was the first person to settle in the land and one of her great-grandchildren was taken back to Idowa to become Dagurewe after Jadiara in 1702. More than a century after, Oba Ademuyegun was again taken from Irete to become the Dagurewe of Idowa, while it was the turn of Oba Okulote in 1910 to be taken from the land to mount the throne as Dagurewe of Idowa. <laughs> Obasikiru Okuribido is the current Daburewe of Idowa and the latest to be taken from Irete and crowned as the Daburewe while the throne of Onirete of Iretejebu was mounted by Oba Abdul Ghaniu Olushegun Awokoya Yesufu on October 2nd, 2021, and was named Otufes Ojoye of Iretejebu. The last of what to you as first Olufes Ojoye of Iretejebu. Otufes Ojoye of Iretejebu. Kadesi, Kade Kalori, Kipata Kadesi, congratulations. Awujale is Dagburewe. Dagburewe is Awujale. His sticker facts point out that Awautu to Biosu left the throne as Awujale and founded Idowa as Awujale, who, who now changed to Dagburewe. There is a general saying in Jebuland between Idowa and Jebudi. Awujale ma fo ondagba di koma fo Dagburewe in Shekbon. Owa is a senior brother. When he was living, he let his junior brother to sit down and take over from me as Aujali. So from there, we settled at the door. We migrated here. Our great grandmother, name of Yinui, founded Irite Jebu. He's the first person to settle down here. He bequeathed us all here. We have been here, as I mentioned earlier. And um, one of his great grandchild, Anuneyo, was taken back to Idowa to become Dagburi after Jadiara at 1702. 
in another 100 years plus, Adimu Yugu was taken from here again to reign as Dag Burewe of Udawa. In 1910, Oba was taken from here to reign as Dag Burewe of Udawa. Lastly, this year, Oba Sikiro Kuribido was crowned as Dag Burewe of Idowa, why I was crowned in October 2nd, 2021, as first Oba of Irete named Utu Fesojui of Irete Ijebu. Oba Sikwa Ujale is our great grandfather who gave us the crown and the title. We are thank thankful to him all the time. We are not immigrant, we are really Jebus. We are from Awujale dynasty at that blue. He lived at the jail, he lived at the job, and when another one lived at the job, he lived like that. Tampany is sent to town. I have been a tampany for you. Oh, no, tell you what to do. Joe Benny. No, Jack or no more, that the other. The Otumba, Ndowa. This is only a decoya. A decoya, I look beautiful. I owe you any opening. Tell you that bad that be. Don't you owe you any? Oh, no, tear. It is a do. Oh, you need any? You took a call to the tea. The basketball. So I'm not going to do the tea. Oh, could be. So, I let you be more quick, but don't know what your bar. Don't know what your bassy. You know what it is. In terms of culture and tradition, Irete is synonymous with Idowa, having also joined in the celebration of Ireno Festival that is being used to celebrate the very essence of the throne and appease the ancestors as well as spiritual fathers of Idowa. The location of Oduduwa Shrine in Irete signposts the spiritual preeminence of the land as one of the things that are unique about the ancient community in Ijebu land, hosting the now Obasikiru Adetona College of Education and as Islam as a major religion of the people, with Christianity also having a share of the population of the people. The Koshara heritage of Irete is almost the same thing with the heritage of Idowa. Because here in Idowa, it is only in Idowa alone you will see a town celebrating Ereno. The second town who joined them lately now to celebrate it is only Irete. Because we are part and parcel of the Dagburiwe dynasty in Idowa. That's one of our uniqueness. And here we have some traditional rites we normally perform. We perform Woro, Oro, Agbo. If we have some traditional settings. Here we have uh, Odudua Shrine in Irete here, which is not common among the Jebus, even in Yoruba land. In the Jebu land here, you can find it in just two places. We is uh, Irete here and Ijebufe. Apart from that, you go to Ilefe before you see it. So we have more here, more attorney. So we have four graves here. So these are parts of, and we have our river, Uluweri and others. So we celebrated our annual uh, Olu festivals every February to March, as done in any places. Omo baba ti se ilu ile sugbon won re se nigba na 
won fun yi malekun tori ise se wa re pete je fo ran won baba fu do oro o wa ni be awon baba re fu do eh am pe kini kan no gomgo e ye re n pe ye je o wa ni be awon baba re fu dire mule mo luku wa ni be awon baba fu dire mule eh oduwa wa ni be awon baba fu dire mule oduwa yen ke onuju ilu ro n wa ni very for kan ba ma ka ba ma wo na ti le fe wa boya ojulu marun ni ti re ma se karun abi keren ro n wa nle yoba sugbon dede yen eh omo baba fu se tori fu asiko yen kilu letuba ko letu se i dede run yen se wa ke ku le ma ke bi eku ke ye le ma ke bi aye the founding mother of Irete, a woman traded in okra, which became the major occupation in the land and was used to develop some of the infrastructure within the community. Our founding mother is a woman. She traded in an okra. That's why we have a unique name, Irete Omwafuwo. Ila Shedada Omwa Fila Gion. We most of our infrastructure in holding this was built by Ila money. That's Okro money. Because uh, it is a plantation of Okro. In modern days, most of them are in the government, they are a businessman, artisan too. So we are farmers. Some of us are abroad doing good over there. The reign of Oba Olusegun Awokoya Yesufu has witnessed a lot of progress and development with various projects that would reposition the community project ongoing while some have already been completed. The federal government's road project with concrete pavement will upon completion further open the community and boost the economy. We thank our governor, Prince Dakpabiodun, the governor of Ogun State. He is the one who facilitated stand, demanding from federal government that this road should be reconstructed. And the yielded to his um, calling. We thank him for standing by us. We also thank governor, federal government for abiding and answering his persistent questions about reconstruction of the road. The road is being constructed from Mobile down to Equiasis. It will join Dangote Refinery. Uh, in olden days, this is a road that links the whole Yoruba land to in, to interior part of Nigeria because there's Oja Ijeni, who is a then it's a serious market. All over Nigeria comes to do their commerce at Oja Ijeni, and the town is still there up to today. Only the market is no more there. So then, the road, this road is very busy road. We thank them for bringing back the commerce of this area to reconstruction of the road. So if they can please speed up action on the road to complete in time, it will be very good. We thank both federal government, we thank our governor very much. Towards supporting the monarch in the facilitation of more development projects and providing a platform for the sons and daughters of Iritejabu, both home and abroad, to come together for the common good of the land and Nowo Neyo Area Community Development Committee with Said Dosumu as a chairman, has achieved so much in the area of infrastructure, empowerment, security, and social welfare. Some of the achievements include empowerment for women, establishment of cooperative to the women with a sum of 5 million naira, electrification, solar light with a sum of 6 million naira, market construction, and many others.